Hello my lovely people and welcome to our channel CCTV Tech. In this video we are going to give you a lifetime solution by making you equipped with the major differences between NVR and DVR so you can decide for yourself what you need. So NVR and DVR are most commonly used in various settings for surveillance and security. It means they are widely used in CCTV industry. So if you are one of those person who are struggling to choose between these two, you don't need to worry yourself. We have got the full time solution. In this video, we are going to give out crystal clear differences and their major features so that you can easily understand their the uniqueness and how they will serve you. So don't you forget to watch our video till the very end. And if you haven't subscribed our channel as of yet, do subscribe our channel, like this video, share this video with your family and friends and drop your valuable views in the comments. So let's get started with our video. So what is a DVR? In simple terms, DVR is what we call a digital video recorder and it is like a high-tech video cassette recorder which is used for security cameras. It records and stores video footage from cameras, allowing you to watch and re-watch live feeds, play back recorded videos and even see what happened when you weren't actually watching. And it is most commonly used for surveillance and security purposes. And it is much like a VCR or a video cassette recorder. A DVR has a hard drive present inside it, which will enable you to store or record videos so that you can easily revisit it and check on anything important. So one of the best feature of a DVR is that it comes with multiple channels, which means it supports connections to multiple cameras for simultaneous recording. You can use 4 channel camera system, 16 channel camera system, 8 channel and 32 channel. All these will enable you to connect up to these number of cameras and easily view it simultaneously. So in a DVR setup, coaxial cables are frequently used to transmit video signals from security cameras to the DVR unit. The typical connection involves running coaxial cables from each camera to the DVR. The DVR processes and records the incoming video signals from these cameras. This setup is often found in a traditional CCTV systems where analog cameras are connected to the DVR via coaxial cables, unlike the IP cameras which are connected to an NVR. So other major functions of a DVR is that it captures and stores video footage from connected cameras. It permits users to view live or recorded footage remotely via the internet. It also enables users to set a specific types for recording and it allows live monitoring along with this. It gives you alert notifications so that you can easily detect any motion which is suspicious. Along with these, you can also uh, enjoy a good storage capacity and PTZ control that is pan, tilt and zoom. So these are the major features that could be found in a simple DVR, although many of these vary along with their different brands. So DVRs are comparatively economical than NVRs. It means if you are having a tight budget, you can definitely go for DVRs. So if you need to install CCTV cameras in a relatively smaller places and you need like a smaller number of cameras, you can definitely go for DVR. Like if you have to install these cameras at your houses, in your parking or anywhere there. Or even in your like small offices. So now let's move on to NVR. Uh, for a layman, an NVR is a network video recorder and it is like a smart digital hub for security cameras. It connects to IP cameras through a network like the internet and records and manages the video footage from these cameras. So NVRs are commonly used in modern surveillance systems providing flexibility and scalability by leveraging the capabilities of IP cameras and existing network infrastructure. So NVR provides you network connectivity which means NVRs connect to IP cameras over a network 
allowing for flexible camera placement and scalability. It also supports high resolution IP cameras, offering better video quality compared to analog cameras. So this way it is better than DVR. NVRs also provide you a good scalability, which means you can add or remove IP cameras without the need for significant hardware changes. So it will be less haphazard for you. And its other features includes remote access, motion detection, and search and playback option, which provides easy search and playback functions to review specific events or time periods. And again, PTZ control or pan tilt zoom control, which is capable of controlling cameras remotely for a wider surveillance range. And it is also capable of receiving and applying firmware updates for enhanced security and features. So these features make NVR a popular choice for modern surveillance system over DVRs. So, but NVRs a bit costly as compared to DVR. So if you have like a very stringent budget, you cannot go for an NVR. But it is exceptionally useful if you need to handle a large number of cameras and you need to monitor a very huge place. And NVRs also provide you this function of channel like 4 channel cameras, 8 channel cameras, 16 channel cameras, 32 channel cameras and 64 channel cameras. You can view and enjoy up to these number of cameras with the help of NVR and in an exceptionally high resolution. NVR can be used in various settings includes your home, offices, your shops but it is better to take their full benefit in government buildings, educational institutions like schools, colleges, healthcare facility providing industry like your hospitals, pharmacies, along with airports like railway stations and other public spaces, which includes big industrial sites. So one of the best thing you will find in an NVR is in its network cabling, which means like uh, an ethernet cables are used to establish a physical connection between the IP cameras and the NVR. These cables transmit both power and data. And many IP cameras support PoE, which is your power over Ethernet, where power is supplied to the camera through the same Ethernet cable used for data transmission. This simplifies the installation process. And then you can easily provide each camera a unique IP address and configure settings such as recording preferences. In a nutshell, it means NVR are easy to install and handle. Its installation is not at all messy and it is much better in resolution. So yes, you can definitely go for NVR. Now for an overview, I will give you a major differences between DVR that is your digital video recorder and NVR that is your network video recorder in a nutshell so that you can easily understand their major differences. Well, if we are talking about camera connection, we can see in a DVR, it connects to analog cameras using coaxial cables and each camera is directly connected to the DVR. While in an NVR, it connects to IP cameras using Ethernet cables and IP cameras are connected to the same network and the NVR communicates with them over the network. And if we talk about data processing, the DVR processes and encodes analog video signals within the DVR itself before storage, while NVR receives already encoded digital video signals from IP cameras with processing often done within the cameras themselves. And if we talk about flexibility, DVRs have limited adjustability because it is dependent on physical connections and the type of analog camera supported while NVR generally are more scalable as it relies on a network infrastructure, making it easier to add or remove IP cameras. And in the installation of DVR, you need to run coaxial cables from each analog camera to the DVR. But in the installation of NVR, it involves connecting IP cameras to the existing network infrastructure using Ethernet cables. 
So now the most important difference can be found in the video quality or resolution. DVRs are limited by the resolution and quality of analog cameras. So naturally they support lower resolution compared to modern IP cameras. And NVRs can support higher resolution IP cameras. So thus it will provide better video quality as compared to DVR. So these are the major differences between NVR and DVR. And now I hope you can easily decide for yourself like what you need and what your budget allows and according to the site you need to monitor. So I hope this video proves useful. So if you like our video, please let us know in the comments, share our video with your family and friends and subscribe our channel so that we can meet soon in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video till the very last. We'll meet you in the next video very soon. Thank you.